businesses across the state enter phase two today, Montanans are asking what changes to expect. According to Governor Steve Bullock, phase two allows for public gatherings to increase from 10 to 50, increased capacities for bars, restaurants, breweries and casinos, and the reopening of bowling alleys. Although the governor's directive allows for more lenient restrictions, many bars and restaurants will continue to operate as they have during phase one due to limited space to seat more people while social distancing. The staff at Tracy's Family Restaurant in Great Falls said more seating, the addition of an outdoor patio and the addition of wine and beer to their menu are about the only changes customers can expect during phase two. Phase two is pretty similar. As far as to our side, we've continuously always used the FDA standards of operation for food safety, which has no impact with the coronavirus. Since we've already been to the top tier, there is no difference on our side with that. Um, as far as safety and sanitation, we are already at the top of our game across the board. Tracy's plans to have their outdoor seating and cabaret license ready for the public within two weeks. Although protocols might not be changing much as we transition to phase two, employees within the bar and restaurant industry say customer conduct needs to change. That includes respecting rules and regulations, staying seated at bars and restaurants, and avoiding touching multiple areas to avoid spreading germs. Halftime Sports Bar and Casino General Manager Robin Roberts stressed how hard employees in these industries are working during these times to help meet their customer needs. And she asked that they practice the following guidelines when dining out. Well, phase two means some big changes for residents around the state. But one thing that stays the same is a CDC guideline recommended for staying safe. As Montanans look to visit more venues, health officials say to be smart with your support and your safety. If the restaurant's way overcrowded, get takeout instead. If a store is really crowded, come back another time. Gardner still recommends people social distance themselves from others and use face masks as residents gather for religious ceremonies or larger events. Just an extra layer of protection that you can do for yourself and for your vulnerable community members. The CDC does still recommend people wear face masks when they're not able to keep six feet away from others. For essentials like groceries or gas or your pharmaceutical needs. But she says masks don't make a difference if you aren't keeping cleanliness in mind. Disposable masks need to be replaced often. Those should be laundered regularly. People need to pay attention to how often they're wearing them. With more entertainment venues like bowling alleys and roller skating rinks opening back up, Gardner says to keep calm and use common sense. Really monitoring the sanitation of those those places. Phase two also means lifted travel restrictions for out of state visitors. Be monitoring the steps that they're taking when they do travel or when they're encountering um, people coming in from out of state. When it comes to safety precautions, Gardner says to remember it's not just about you. It's about protecting our wider community.